what we fight for. The police, do they know what they fight for? We're fighting for the future of Hong Kong. On the 22nd of December, student activist groups, the Hong Kong Federation of Students and Scholarism, organized a five-day strike outside of government headquarters. They were there to protest China's handling of Hong Kong's upcoming election process, which effectively limits the choice of chief executives to pro-establishment candidates only. The protesters came in their thousands to support the students. The Hong Kong government cracked down by firing 87 tear gas canisters right into the crowd, triggering a mass occupation of major roads across the city. The Umbrella Movement was born. It was a campaign of civil disobedience with thousands of protesters setting up makeshift camps, barricading major roads and bringing parts of Hong Kong to a standstill. Hong Kong people woke up on the 28th of September. People were ready for it. They were wind up to do it, to make the action more tangible, to make the action more radical. The protesters were demanding open and public nomination of Hong Kong's chief executive candidates and genuine universal suffrage, meaning equal rights to vote for all eligible citizens. After a high-profile public meeting with Hong Kong government representatives proved fruitless, the student leaders attempted to take their demands to Beijing. By the time they got to Hong Kong airport, their travel documents to enable entry to mainland China had been revoked. There are three main protest sites. Admiralty, Mong Kok and Causeway Bay. The Admiralty site is next to the Hong Kong government headquarters in the heart of the financial district. The Mong Kok site is at the centre of a commercial shopping area popular with locals and tourists. So A small section of the occupied Mong Kok site was cleared under a high court order. Clusters of protesters returned to the streets, attempting to take back Argyle Street. You've seen Shandong Street back there. The police, they started using a CS liquid today, which is a new weapon uh, from the arsenal. I think uh, most of us just want to show support and show to the government that we will not retreat easily. The number of specially trained SWAT team people, they have really increased the number of those people today. Um, you know, they really were out tonight to show you know, how good they are. I guess 
no matter how hard we try, the Beijing government will not uh, will not get back any of this point. There's no any reply from them. I feel more and more um, hopeless. I think one thing is that the winning is not our most important thing. The most important thing is that we have to tell the government that we have all the people who are against them. That is a strong government. Because the people who are against the government are completely closed. The most important thing is that the most important thing is that the most important thing is that the most important thing 點解你唔俾我揀咧？係咪啊？揀得好與唔好嘅，我哋自己受翻。四年後嘅，我哋咪打翻落台咯，唔俾票佢咯。你見到中國政府佢哋做緊啲乜嘢㗎？喺五呢五十日裏面已經見到佢將來會做嘅嘢，破壞法治啦，慫恿執法嘅者濫用權力啦。我,我作為香港人嘅話，我降傷香港嘅未來。我哋大家見到有一個問題就係，如果咁樣落去，香港係唔掂嘅。We're still angry that the police actually thought they could use that kind of violence against a bunch of people who were, I wouldn't say they were non-violent people. Because I wouldn't know. But they literally had no weapon to be violent about. They had their fists. And that's about it. In the morning, anti-occupy workers dressed in I Love Hong Kong t-shirts began to clear the protest area. Student leaders were arrested for questioning the legality of these workers who claimed to have authority to clear the site. The police were criticised for the violent handling of unarmed student leaders and protesters. Over a hundred people were arrested that morning. Just two days short of the second month of occupation, the entire Mong Kok occupied site was cleared. Meanwhile, Admiralty is still going strong. This is the study corner, we call it study corner. Many protesters are middle school students and university students. Uh, they have their, their, their study needs. So, some people here to create a space for them to, to study. There's midterm and final exam, so during that period, you can see many students, uh, even some of them are wearing their school uniform to, to sit here to study. I witnessed the change because at the first, there's only some bench and some uh, chairs, and now here you, you see there's some booth and there's some LED lighting. Some connect a bicycle to the generators to support the electrical needs of, of the lighting. So I love this space. After the protesting area has been taken down, we've decided to um, come down and do shopping. We're being good, law-abiding citizens. The word go is like a Mandarin version of shopping. And uh, 
our chief executive has asked us to support the Sharks and Mark Up. But go is also another meaning. Go in Cantonese means cock. This shopping spree is a funny idea because uh, it happened a few months ago when there was an, an anti Occupy Central march organized by uh, pro Beijing people. And they employed a bunch of people to uh, march along. And then one girl was interviewed and then she was asked, So why are you on this march? And then she said, Go Wu in Mandarin, uh, meaning shopping. So they didn't even get very good actors to do that. So since then, it's been a, a, a running joke amongst the, uh, the, the uh, pro-democracy camp. Gaowu had been running for several nights. The police were determined to close it down. The police rounded up people and documented their IDs. Some of them have since been unable to enter China and nearby Macau. You know, it's, it's all very good humour, it's very funny, but uh, I don't think it's actually you know, escalating the action at all. The Hong Kong government has been criticised for using the police and private court injunctions to disrupt the movement instead of addressing its political demands. The policemen think no matter how bad they are, how violent they are, the government still back them up. On 15th of October, I'm doing a peaceful demonstration in the, next to the Long Wall Road, but I get uh, caught by seven policemen just like kick me, punching me, kneeling on me, like it's, it's quite terrible. Even they're handcuffing me, so I cannot do anything. Even I cannot like protect my head. So I, I am the first uh, case in during the movement, but nowadays to beating up a demonstrator is not a news anymore because they, they beat up lots of demonstrator, even more, much more worse. The government is a liar. I mean, if you say the citizen carrying weapons, what is the weapon? It's a shell made by, made by a piece of paper, come on. Or, or some plastic helmet? It doesn't make sense. People are quite angry and we want the commissioner or we want the policeman to come out and tell what happened. Student leaders called for people to assemble at Admiralty on Sunday, November 30th in protest of police violence in Mong Kok. I think Student Federation is um, finding a way to, to end this. It smells really ill-planned. I have 10 friends around with me tonight. Yeah, but, uh, and they will stay at the front too. So, have you brought any protection? Yep, they, they have their masks, they have their eye goggles, and they have their helmet. Tomatamsa
I got sprayed, put the spray right here. Oh my god, my face is real close distance. I was just talking to them. When you get hit so many times, day in after day, I've been pepper sprayed at least 10 times. And so far we've got nothing. And it's not, it's not just about our emotional reasons for not giving up. It's for an idealistic reason. And you see from these kind of actions that if they encroach, if they encroach on your civil liberties now, they can further encroach on that. And they already have plans to further encroach on that. And we don't stand up for ourselves today. They walk over us. <音>其實本身龍和道那邊是啲警察我們見到就沒有什麼事發生 亂棍的,其實他們已經是這樣,我有戴頭盔那陣 The police moved in to clear the road before rush hour. Protesters were herded back to the occupied site on nearby Harcourt Road. Source woman the other day, and she was in tears because a couple of her her boys got shit kicked out of them, you know, really badly. Um, a couple of them were hospitalized. One of the girls got hit so bad she has internal bleeding. 
so um, all about police, of course. And um, so she's understandably sort of, what the hell am I doing here? If they're thinking of leaving now, what was the point of the last 60 days? The student leaders conceded defeat and apologised to their supporters, especially to the injured. Because 所以這個都是我們部署和在開始想錯的方向 court injunction was granted to clear parts of Harcourt Road in Admiralty on December 11th. Right now they're saying they're going to lock down the whole street. So, um, so the, the, basically the last chance. So if they get your ID, means they keep your record, maybe they will hand over to Chinese authority, maybe. On the 28th of September, I thought there's all hope here, but now I feel that it's gone. I'm afraid that the government will do all the different measures to prevent this kind of political movement from happening again. Sai 見到希望才企出來現在因為你企出來才會見到希望其實大家都會覺得前景是暗淡的抗爭陣線這個當然是最好的想法 leaders have announced that they will not organize any occupations in the foreseeable future. They'll instead focus on expanding their networks within civil societies. Many Hong Kongers welcomed the new year by raising the yellow umbrella, the symbol of the movement. But with the streets now cleared of protesters, Hong Kong has largely returned to business as usual. The government remains unmoved. Democracy faces a bleak new year.